doesn't feel good. So today we're going to be tearing apart the wave blaster motor and see if we can salvage it. Now, I don't know why, but it just keeps locking up. As soon as you leave it for a couple of months, it locks up straight away. I've filled the cylinders full of oil previously and it doesn't, doesn't change anything. It just locks straight up. So we're going to strip it down today and see what's going on with it and if we can even salvage it. If not, I think we're just going to have to get a whole other motor. So... And if I go the whole other motor out, I think I'm going to go just to 1200. So we'll triple swap the blaster. And um, I've always wanted to do something I've always wanted to do with it. I love the shape of the Wave Blaster 1. So, but all right, let's jump into stripping this down and seeing uh, if we can find out what the problem is. The most bizarre thing about it is as soon as you unseized it, it would run like a dream. So it starts, stop, idle, no problems at all. So there's even a fair bit of corrosion just in the pipe there. You can definitely tell it was never washed out after being in the salt water. Problem is going to be getting the damn pistons out. It's coming. Oh, a heap of corrosion just poured out all over me when I turned it upside down. <laughs> So the piston 
is the gudgeon's all seized up, so you can't actually, like, that's me pushing. Ugh. As if I used to ride it like that. Like, I took this out a handful of times and just used to do the old crowbar start to get it going, and then the starter motor would make it run. And I'd go out for hours, just as it is now. The only thing that I've ever done, well, Dad did for me, was the car before it. And that gudgeon is absolutely seized up. That gudgeon is seized. The need roll, it's just it's grooved the top of the rod as well, so I think it's gonna be new crank if I go ahead with fixing it. Yeah, see it's grooved in there as well. Not unless you can clean that up. Way too easy. That's how it should be. Yeah, see that needle roll is heaps better. There isn't gouge marks in that one, which is good. And those bearings feel absolutely terrible. You can... Like they... They are crunchy, crunchy goodness on that one. I don't see me fixing this. I think I'll just roughly, I think I'll just roughly screw it all back together and um, just put it in storage. And I think what we're going to do is we'll try and track down a 1200 or an 1100 and do the uh, triple swap in it. So, alrighty guys, I got it all slapped back together. Nothing's bolted up. I'm just going to wrap it in plastic and um, put it back in the shed. I've gone ahead and put all the bolts, labelled them in bags, so I don't know if I ever come across another motor on Marketplace or something, I might I might be able to make one good one out of the two, so I used to go out for hours and smash around and it would run awesome, but it did, it did have a slight vibration in it, which I never sort of worried me, that's why um, in the previous video I pulled apart the jet pump, because I thought it might have been a bearing in that, but after seeing how the state of this motor, it was definitely the motor that was vibrating. It would have been nice to keep the original motor in the ski, but I think for the cost of fixing this, I'll be able to get a 1200 for it. So, I'll, uh, like I said a minute ago, we'll wrap it up, we'll put it back in storage, and if, if we can fix it again, we might fix it for a future project or something. But for now, I'm going to keep my eye out for a 1200. So I just went and picked up the new motor for the jet ski. Now, this is an 1100 out of a Wave Raider. And funny enough, it was already in a Wave Blaster. Now, driving home after pulling apart my other motor, I was like, oh, I wonder what I'm gonna do. I really want it for summer and I probably won't get a motor in time. And as I pulled up in the driveway, this popped up on Facebook Marketplace. Now, like I said, it was already running, um, working in a Wave Blaster. So I drove down there, made a deal with it, and picked it up so and it also came with these adapter plates so it should bolt straight into a wave blaster as it previously was as pre as it previously was so should be a pretty easy swap now apparently this is rebuilt 
a while back like looking at the gasket it doesn't look like it but i'm assured it's a good running engine i have seen videos of it running the carbies look like they've been recently rebuilt um it's got all the wiring on it it does need a little bit of wiring fixing up but i'll do that in um at a later date now in the next video we're going to start mocking this up and making sure it fits all right now you can see on there's a bit of wear in these plates here so the motor hasn't been sitting aligned properly so there's going to be a little bit of mucking around trying to get this um straight with the jet pump so i don't have um any drive problems so in the next one like this is just sitting here because it was missing this top bracket when i picked it up so i've got that ordered i'm going to replace these filters with the factory air box and all that so all these um plug leads will plug back onto the factory air box so but all right, i'm super excited to do this project and um hopefully i can get it all done before um sort of the christmas holidays comes about and um take it out on the water so thanks for watching <laughs>